Every steel hull narrowboat requires blacking. Hopefully this guide will help you understand more about this necessity. Blacking is part of maintaining the condition of your narrowboat, it protects it from rusting and leaking. It's often said that narrowboats need blacking between three to five years. Others argue that it is strictly three years. It all depends on how well the boat is looked after what products you use. It's not unusual for some to black their hull every 12 to 18 months. Look, if you can afford to have your boat out of the water for a few days, then do it more often. There's no harm in doing so, and your boat will really benefit in the long run. The condition of your hull may affect your insurance. So, where do we start? A narrow boat hull can't be blacked underwater. There are three ways to get it out of the water. Craning, slipway trailer, or dry dock. Craning is very expensive. Slipway trailer is the most common and the most cost effective. Dry dock can also be expensive. There are two types of blacking products. Bitumen and two-pack epoxy. The latter is more expensive, but, it should last around five years. The cheapest option is bitumen and generally last around two years. Apart from the cost of epoxy two-pack paint, the narrowboat will require grit blasting for a completely clean smooth surface before being blacked. It may work out cheaper in the long run because your narrowboat will not be required to be removed from from the water for a longer period than the cheaper bitumen. Costs vary from place to place, marina to marina, as well as the type of coating you chose. Also it depends on the length of the narrowboat. Let's say you are quoted £250 to tow the boat out of the water. Ensure that includes returning it. Then basic bitumen. About £6 per foot. A 57-foot narrowboat would cost close to £600. Don't be afraid to ask what brand of bitumen will be used. Blacking in Intertuff and Retex may cost a quid per foot more than the basic bitumen. Blacking in keel black may cost a couple of quid more per foot. On top of the blacking, you may need to add about £30 per 2 kg anodes with a further £60. Anodes are welded to the hull, to help protect it, in the case of galvanic corrosion caused by electrical current flowing between connections, and between dissimilar metals. They are commonly called sacrificial anodes, and the theory is that by attaching a piece of metal to the hull that is more reactive than the hull itself, then that piece of metal will corrode first. The hull sides need to be jet washed. Usually with up to 3,000 pounds PSI using both cold and hot is a form of steam cleaning. The underside of flat-bottomed boats are generally not cleaned or painted because deterioration there is minimal and use of the canal renders painting superfluous. So, let's look at two-pack epoxy hull blacking. Ask about the two-pack epoxy guarantee. Expect between four and ten years, but be mindful that the coating is likely to get damaged by those typical narrow boat bangs and scrapes. These may wipe out any guarantee. If your narrowboat already has a two-pack epoxy coating, and if the manufacturer is known, it's usually best to stay with the same brand. Preparation is very expensive. Add about £10 per foot, for epoxy two-pack, but, because of price variations, make sure you get the price to include materials, as some quote per foot for application only, but add the cost of materials afterwards. This also applies to the taking out of the water and returning, plus full preparation. I hope you have found this guide useful. Please subscribe to this channel so that you get notified of other useful snippets about narrowboat life.